Alright, Ace Back people. I got the EMG dash 40 v Like this system running good. I just cleaned the condenser coil on both of these units, changed all the filters out. Like there's a little pool out here today. We got three accessories hooked up. Got the ICT 220. This is my uh, inner temperature, 60 degrees, so that's about 60 degrees ambient temperature. So we're a little cool out here today. But, but I just did a maintenance on the, on the system. When I start this system up after watching the floor, we were down like 89 PSI, but I got it running for a while, so it seemed like those suction pressures wanna, wanna, wanna uh, go up for me. At the thermostat, when I was in there, I set the thermostat to 63, probably, we're about 67 degrees on the inside, so the house is cool also. So I'm not gonna run it too long. I think we're gonna be in good shape. As you can see, I got the LE Tech, y'all. This is LE Tech US.com. I got three accessories hooked up at one time. I got the ICT 220, as you can see up here. Let's check that Delta T. We got six degrees. When I started this, we were probably at one degree Delta T, so we started to remove some heat. Like I say, and the coil was wet also, so. It's starting to go up a little bit. If I change these over to my leaves, I'll be in the positive. But we got a six degree uh, differential. That's with the ICT 220. Got a six degree differential, so we let it good there. Let me go ahead and start their report. We'll send a report to the homeowner. Take a screenshot. I, I need to let it run for, for a little while. The address is going to auto, automatic populate. This is the downstairs unit. This is the downstairs right there. Notes. I'm just going to put PM in my notes. Everything running good. Like I said, check, check the capacitor. Check my contact. This unit running good. Good train system. Been keeping up uh, with them. I installed that mini split about three years ago. Uh, cleaned it up uh, during the maintenance. Uh, right now I can feel this one remove some heat. Like I said, about 60 some degrees out here. If y'all want some good tools for troubleshooting units, that's elitechus.com. That's elitechus.com. Got the DMG, yep, we're above 100 now. DMG 4B. Alright, so I'm going to save this. Go ahead and take a screenshot of that also. Well, looks like we creeping up on this one. We got the DMG 4B. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this one. Now we above freezing. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna put DS the downstairs. Auto populate that address. Alright, I'm gonna say that. You can see I got a PDF I need to send it to my customers to take a look and see how it looks. Let's go just once in that drive as you can see. As you can see it'd be easy to email our customers a report. You click up a button. So we can do a graph if we need to. So I got the DMG band 40 B. It's got a little helicopter uh, customer there but it's okay, it's okay. All right, so we got 111, so we definitely, definitely easing on up right there. DMG there, 4B. This DMG there, 4B. We got 103 over 200. So it is removing some heat. All right, got the DMG there, 40B. DMG there, 40B. I'm taking so this one right here. Out of population, this is the other side right here. Alright, those of the PM in my notes. Alright, let's see what we got. Alright, we got the DMG dash 40B. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. So, so I'm pretty much done. Everything running good. You can go ahead and turn them off. I can put it back to a normal yeah, yeah. temperature. Okay. Yeah, just okay. put them uh, whatever you need. It. 72, okay. 74. Okay. 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 All right. Do the upstairs and downstairs. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah.
equalizing real quick that let you know you got a fixed orifice in there also it can take a long time for it to equalize we got a txv it looks like we got a fixed orifice up there all right let's take a look at the, this is still running this is the emg that had 40 40 v there i'm gonna turn that one off let's see what we got okay because one of them coils been replaced before i think this is the original see this one might have a txv See how it's taking a long time to equalize. Let's take a look at and take a look at that other one right there. Yeah. See this one? See it has an equalized. So I know this system here still has a TXV. I'm not sure about the other one. I think the other one might have a TXV also, because it's taking a long time to. Okay, if, it were, if we was at 180, 180, this is the EMG-4B. We was at 180, 180. We'll have a, a fixed orifice. But you see this one here, upstairs unit, take a long time to equalize. So that one here is gonna be, a definitely got a TXV in there. We had a TXV, we, we, we can do, do, go by subcooling, but just, this is designed for 11 degree sub cooling. Like I said, I think this is the original train coil in this one. I know I went up on the core been replaced. It got a Lennox coil on one of these units. So when you got a mismatched core, even though the tag says the design sub cooling, it's kind of hard to go by there because this design sub cooling is for the core that, that they, uh, the manufacturer coil or whatever core they designed that unit, you know, for the warehouse. But I'm gonna get ready to wrap this one up. Like I said, clean up all the units up, flushed all the drain lines, dense core, checked all the capacitors, checked the contactors. Uh, it's March here. This unit here should be ready for the summer, folks. If anybody interested in Ellie Tech tools, visit ellietechus.com and use my referral link, I'll save you additional 10% off. In the code section, enter WWHVAC10. That's WWHVAC10 at elitechus.com. Save you additional 10% off. These are great. You see a beautiful display screen, ready for your AL2, uh, A2L refrigerants. You got every refrigerant that you can think of. So y'all visit elitechus.com. All right.